God, that thing's annoying sometimes. Anyway, what's up guys, I'm Grunt, and welcome to the fourth episode of Learning the Maps, the series where we go through each map in detail to help you get your head around them. Today we'll be looking at the newly buffed Clubhouse, which came out in Operation Parabellum. So without any further ado, let's get started. As always, we'll start outside the map with spawns and exterior cameras. The first spawn is the main gate spawn, south of the map. You'll spawn near a bunch of police cars, and to the north you'll find three ways to approach the map. The eastmost one will take you to the garage and the warehouse spawn. And it can also take you to the main parking lot, slash courtyard area, whatever you want to call it, which gives you access to a lot of the south side. Near the second pathway we'll find the first outside camera on Clubhouse. And that second pathway will take you down to the police cars again. Final way is off to the west, going this way will get you to the changing room, which leads into strip. And also further west is the junkyard. The second spawn is the shipping dock, sometimes called junkyard spawn, and it's on the west side of the map. When you spawn in, you'll notice that the only way to go is straight forward. Just make sure you watch out for C4s being lobbed over that wall. Up the stairs you have two paths. The rightmost one joins up with the main gate spawn and gives you access to the side entrance wall. And it also takes you to the strip entrance. And following this back around takes us back to spawn. On the north side of Junkyard you'll find the second outside camera. Also the strip wall, strip hallway and the construction site. Before we head up north let's head over to the warehouse spawn on the east side. One of the more notable things about this spawn is there's a balcony that can be used to get a view into CCTV and kind of garage, mainly CC. There's also two pathways to the map. The northmost one will take you near storage and if you go further north you can find stock. And the southmost one will take you to the final outside camera. And into garage or back around to the main gate spawn. The final spawn is construction site in the northeast. There's quite a few ways to get to the map from here. So first, if you were to head directly south, you'd end up outside of stock and kitchen hallway. You can also get up to the construction by taking that ladder. And just north is the kitchen window. So if you were to head west when you spawned, instead of going south, you'd end up at the shipping container which leads into the dirt tunnel, and if we keep going further around we can get to the kitchen entrance and bedroom stairs window, and if we go even further west we'll end up back at the junkyard. So 
So now let's head inside the map, though first, in the next few sections, in the top left you'll see the in-game name of the room, under that in curly brackets is another name for that room, under that in square brackets is callouts within that room, more specific callouts in curly brackets. We're going to get into the basement through the dirt tunnel up north. When you're defending downstairs, usually you'll want to have the dirt tunnel reinforced and muted or banditted, as leaving it open just creates more crossfires for the people in Arsenal. Arsenal houses a secure site and a bomb that it shares with Church, and it used to be one of, if not the most popular site, though we'll see how that changes as time goes on. Be careful if you're hiding over in the east side, as the roof above leads into kitchen and it is breakable. The basement hallway connects Arsenal, Church, Memorial and the Central Stairs. It also has the first interior camera. Heading up the Central Stairs takes us up to the kitchen hallway. But we're not ready for that just yet, so let's go into Memorial. If you're defending downstairs, especially church, make sure you reinforce the hatch above that leads into bar. And make sure you keep an eye out for defenders sitting on that box. Church houses a few hostage and the other bomb site that pairs with arsenal. The entire east wall leads into blue hallway and the northwest one leads into the hallway. At the end of the round, during the final push, defenders will likely end up around this wall behind the bar or the barrels. Going back through Arsenal, let's head into Blue now. The Blue Hallway is a very common way to attack the basement, even more so now with the new staircase from storage. So as defenders maybe have a mirror set up on the Arsenal wall if you're confident that you can hold dirt, or have a Roma go up into Garage as Blue is a pretty good place to have control of. Underneath Garage is the oil pit. It has four corners, all of which have grates above them that can be shot through. It also has a ladder which will take us to the first floor. Garage houses a secure site and with the new CCTV window it's a lot harder to defend than it used to be as there's now essentially three main entrances instead of two. It also has the second interior camera. And leads outside to warehouse. And the main gate spawn as you saw earlier. Heading into lounge or stock hallway, it connects a few rooms. First we'll head into storage, which has the stairs leading into blue, and a window looking at the north side of the warehouse. Stock hallway also has some stairs going up to the cash wall and CCTV. Moving into stock. Stock houses a bomb site that it shares with Bar. It also leads outside the construction site and the warehouse spawn. Stock also has our first hatch, which leads down into blue. Heading over to the lobby, it goes outside onto the veranda, looking out at the main gate spawn. It also leads into stage. 
Stage is right in the middle of stock and bar, and we'll likely have a few crossfires going on if you're playing bomb. Bar has a hatch that... hold up. Bar has a hatch that leads into Memorial. It also houses the bomb that pairs with stock and the secure side of its own. People will also likely end up behind the bar as it provides some pretty good cover. Bar also has the third inside camera. It's also a lot more defendable than it used to be with the stage walls and the pool table now being its own room. Pool has a window overlooking the main gate spawn. It has walls into strip and also leads into the strip hallway, which has a new wall which leads into bar. Heading left at the intersection will take us to strip. Strip houses a hostage and will likely be an entry point for attackers trying to attack bar. The west side room will take you out to the junkyard. And if you want to get rid of the music and strip, shoot this speaker as the other ones aren't playing anything. Down south is the changing room. This just connects strip and the side entrance, which leads out to junkyard and main gate spawn. This is the wall that leads into pool, and if we go to the other end of strip hallway, we'll end up between junkyard and construction site. The first actual new room is toilets, which is just another way to get from strip to the kitchen hallway, which connects toilets, bar, the central stairs, which we saw earlier. Kitchen, stage, and technically stock. Kitchen is usually a high traffic area when the objective is downstairs, as people like to get the hatch into arsenal open. Now be aware that the roof above you leads into logistics and it is breakable. The kitchen entrance will take us outside into the construction site. You should probably also know that the floor of kitchen hallway leads right into the basement hallway, and it's also breaking. The two south walls lead into stage, and bar. Now let's head up to the second floor. First things first, when you're opening dirt tunnel outside, keep an eye on this window otherwise you're probably going to end up with a bullet in your head. The bedroom hallway connects logistics, bedroom, bathroom, the junkyard balcony. Commonly be used when the objective is in bedroom. The bedroom hallway also takes us into gym, which has a hatch leading into pool. And a bomb site that it shares with the bedroom. Heading out this window will take us to the bedroom balcony, or the central subroof as the game calls it. The bedroom hallway also has the final camera for Clubhouse. Logistics is quite commonly attacked to get into bedroom. There are a few hiding places for defenders, like this desk. 
probably don't hide here unless you have a death wish. And over by the construction wall, which obviously leads into construction. And this wall also goes into bedroom. Bedroom houses all three objectives, including the bomb site that it shares with Jim. It also has a bathroom, which is a very common hiding spot for defenders. This wall connects into Jim, and this window takes you out onto the bedroom balcony. Into the final new room, construction, it also has a window leading out onto the bedroom balcony. Which can be used to get into CCTV. Near the logistics wall is another breakable wall which will take us out onto the construction balcony or trash. Construction also introduces a new hatch leading into the stage, and this is also the final hatch on Clubhouse. Cash houses a hostage and bomb that it shares with CCTV. This desk back here is a very common hiding spot. Cash is also a lot more viable now with the addition of construction, which this wall leads into. CCTV houses the bomb site that pairs with cash. It has a window leading out onto the bedroom balcony, and walls on the window leading onto the balcony in garage. Finishing up garage, at least one defender will probably be up on the balcony if the site's in garage. And the old clubhouse had a drone hole looking onto the balcony from cash. The new clubhouse doesn't have that anymore, just so you know. CC also has a wall leading out onto the CCTV balcony or storage roof, whichever you want to call it. The final inside room is the CCTV hallway, which connects CCTV, cash, and the stock hallway downstairs. And finally, let's head up to the roof. We'll start near the garage door. This part of the roof used to be very useful for attacking bedroom, but the addition of construction basically destroyed those sightlines. The hatch that led into CCTV has also been removed. The hatch into logistics has been moved slightly. Be careful not to fall off the roof when you're looking down into logistics. The hatch that led into gym was also removed, so the roof is nowhere near as useful as it used to be. The last section of roof is the strip roof, which got to keep its hatch leading into changing room. The strip roof can also be used to get a good look into CCTV, gym and bedroom if the walls open. Moving on to bomb sites now. The first pair is in bedroom and gym. Second pair is in CCTV and cash. The third pair is in bar and stock. And the final pair is in church and arsenal.
secure sites now. The first one's in garage. Second one's in bar. Third one's in bedroom. And the last one's in arsenal. Last, and certainly least, hostages. The first hostage is in the bedroom. Second fuse targets in cash room. The third bullet bag is in the strip club, the filthy bastard. And the final sacrifice is in church. And that's about it from me. The rest of the video will be spawn peaks, runouts, and useful rotations. But before I go, make sure you vote on which map you want to see next. Leave any feedback you have in the comments. And make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.